Welcome to the presentation on level 2 exponents. The level 2 exponents, the only thing we're going to add to the mix now is the concept of a negative exponent. So we learned already that 2 to the third power, well that just equals 2 times 2 times 2. Hopefully by now that's second nature to you, and that equals 8. Now I'm going to teach you what 2 to the negative third power is. Now I know a lot of you are going to say, oh no, that's negative 8. But whenever you see exponents, you always have to remember, your, remind yourself, exponents are not multiplication. And I know there's that temptation to say, well, 2 times negative 3 is negative 6, and maybe 2 to the negative third power is negative 8, but that's not the case. And I'll explain in a future module why we use this convention. But 2 to the negative third power, it turns out, is equivalent to 1 half to the third power. So it turns out that the negative exponent, what it does is it means to take the inverse of the base, we'll call it number 2 as the base, and take that to the positive version of the exponent. And 1 half to the third po power, well, we already learned that's 1 half times 1 half times 1 half, and that equals 1 eighth. So we say 2 to the negative third power, oh, that didn't come out right, 2 to the negative third power is equal to 1 8. Let's do another one. Let's say 3 to the negative 2 power. Once again, immediately when we see that negative in the exponent, the easiest thing to do is just immediately take the reciprocal of the base. So we take 1 third, and we raise that to the positive 2 power. And that's easy now. 1 third squared, well that's equal to 1, one over 9. Let's do some more problems. What if I had 2 over 3, 2 over 3 to the negative third power? Well, once again, just to make it simple, whenever I see that negative in the exponent, I want to get rid of it. So I'll, I immediately take, I take the reciprocal of the base. The reciprocal of 2 thirds is 3 over 2 and I raise that to the positive third power. So what changed between the left and the right side? The 2 over 3 I flipped, and I turned the negative 3 into a positive 3. And now this just becomes a level 1 exponent. This equals 3 halves times 3 halves times 3 halves. And that equals 27 over 8. So that's interesting. 2 thirds to the negative 3 is equal to 27 over 8. Let's do some more. Let's do 4 over 7 to the negative 1. Once again, we have a negative number in the exponent. That's the same thing as taking the reciprocal of the base and raising it to the positive exponent. Well, 7 fourths to the 1, any number to the first power is just the same number. It's equal to 7 fourths. So when you take it to the negative 1 power, all you're essentially doing is getting the reciprocal of the number. Let's do some more problems. 2 to the negative 5. Once again, we take the reciprocal of 2, and we say 1 over 2. And now that will can be raised to the fifth power. And that equals 1 half times 1 half, times 1 half, times 1 half, times 1 half. And that equals 1 over 32. Another way we could have viewed 2 to the negative fifth is that 2 to the negative fifth, we could have said that, that equals 1 over 2 to the fifth. And we know that 2 to the fifth is 32, so that would have been the same thing. Two ways to do it, pretty much uh, just changing the order of when you flip versus when you actually calculate the exponent. Let me do two or three more problems. And after I write down each of these problems, you might just want to uh, pause it and see if you can do the problem yourself and then compare your answer to mine. So let's say I had negative 4 to the negative third power. Immediately, I like to get rid of the negative in the exponent. And I know that that equals minus 1 over 4 to the third power. And that equals 
minus 1 over 4 times minus 1 over 4 times minus 1 over 4. The negative times the negative is a positive, but then we're multiplying that times another negative, so we get a negative. 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. 4 times 4 is 16, times 4 is 64. So it equals negative, six, negative 1 64th. Let's do another problem. Um, let me think of a good number. 8 over 9. Let's make it negative. Negative 8 over 9 to the negative second power. Well, once again, that equals negative 9 over 8. Notice I just immediately just took the recipro reciprocal of the base and to the positive 2 power. And now that equals negative 9 over 8 times negative 9 over 8. A negative times a negative is a positive. So we get 9 times 9 is 81 over 64. I think you get the point now. The only uh, new thing we've learned, really, is that when you have a negative exponent, it's the same thing as taking the reciprocal of the base and raising it to the positive exponent. Hopefully that last statement didn't, didn't confuse you more, did, did more good than damage. But uh, I think you're ready to try some problems now. Have fun.